story I want to share with you is about 10 years old. Uh, I was at that time, most of you all know, I am involved in the Redlands Healing Rooms that run in this venue on a Monday night. But at that time, I was involved in the Living Waters Healing Room that was running in Cleveland. And I had this urge to pray for somebody that had lost an arm. I mean, like, lost it, like it's gone. And I was praying about this, and I was walking down in Cleveland, and here comes this man, misses an arm. And I think, wow, Lord, yeah, you brought me a person without an arm. And I chickened out. I just walked straight past him. I said, Lord, I please give me another chance, Lord. And within three days, how long ago have you seen somebody without an arm? Within three days, I walk in Cleveland again, and there, I'm, I'm actually coming out of Woolies. And here comes another guy without an arm. He misses the other arm. But he, he like walks like that. And I chicken. He walks right past me. I chicken out. Oh, Lord, I'm such a dummy. Please give me another chance. Within a week, the third guy without an arm in the center of Cleveland. This time I'm actually walking into a Coles. And here comes a guy. He misses the other arm again. And I said to him, stop, stop. You lost an arm. No, I didn't. I said, excuse me, can I please talk to you? And he stopped, and I spoke to him, and he told me his story. And I don't want to tell you his name, but he said when he, I said, you missed an arm. How did, how did it happen? He said, when I was drunk and young and disorderly, I fell in front of a train. The train ran over his arm. I said, wow, must have hurt it. No, I didn't. I said, can I pray for you, please? He said, sure. He, he actually grew up a Catholic. He, he shared with me. Can I pray for you, please? Now, you will not be shocked to hear that the arm didn't grow out, which is, you know, in the ideal world, the arm would just grow out. But we live in a fallen world, and it doesn't always happen like that. Anyway, I got to pray for him. And I blessed him. And I actually ran into him again. Of the three people, he was the only guy I ever saw again in Cleveland. And I would stop and I would talk to him if I have a chance. But isn't that amazing? Three people God would bring without an arm so that I can pray for him. Eventually, not chicken out.